guys. I I think this will be a good self-contained stream. I wasn't gonna do it as a stream, but I'll do it as a stream. I think it'll be kind of fun. Uh, okay. So. Um, we might have another, I think we'll have another AMD stream tomorrow, so. But tonight's an NVIDIA stream. Um, so we are, we are switching uh, the tiny box from AMD to NVIDIA. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a sad day. Uh, we're still probably gonna get AMD on MLPerf. Um, we already wrote all the stuff. Like we already basically have it. Um, the thing goes unstable every once in a while. I uh, will have to see how the ML perf rules deal with that. Um, we might be able to write some junk mitigations that just like, oh, it resets the GPU, it loads from the last checkpoint. I don't think that stuff will be that hard to write. Uh, so, you know, people think I give up on everything. Uh, what, what do you think I gave up on, man? You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's kind of, kind of like, I saw, I saw a tweet and it was like, everybody else gives up. Like in order to do things, you have to think y y you can do things. And obviously not everything you think you can to do things has worked out, but you know, uh, it is better to have loved and lost than never have uh, loved at all. A uh, whole bunch of emails back and forth with, uh, you know, AMD people today. It's just, it's just sad. It's just like a few different AMD people too. You work there and you want your stuff to be good and you just kind of know it won't. Um, I'm not getting it. Why are you asking me about Aptera? Um, I think I drink. I drink sometimes, not much. I'm going to go to the bar. What's more fun than sniffing NVIDIA I.O. controls? Um, no, I mean, like, never give up, never surrender. Never give up, never surrender. Never give up, never surrender. Um, but uh, yeah, no, so okay, one of, so Tiny Grad is right now at the HSA level. Um, we can go a level lower to the, to the kernel level. And I think a lot of this stuff is very similar um, to, uh, to NVIDIA. So I wrote this thing, you saw me use it, it's called hip IO control, and it, uh, it sniffs IO controls. So we're gonna do some, some NVIDIA sniffing. Uh, let's do some, let's do some NVIDIA sniffing. So all I did was install NVIDIA driver open. Let's see, does that work? NVIDIA SMI. Could not communicate with the NVIDIA driver. Um, I don't think that actually did DKMS. And you might also, there's like crap you have to do for the, uh, and what I want to do, apt cache search video driver. Um, open kernel module. Wait, I didn't do no DKMS. It should have DKMS. Video driver open kernel meta pack. DKMS status? Oh, installed. Pseudo mod probe NVIDIA. Oh, we can't mod probe NVIDIA because of uh 
Do I still have to do the crap, or did they did they update the open source driver? There used to be some crap where it said the open source driver was not for uh, GeForce GPUs, and you had to like do some crap to make them work. Um, I have a 3080 in this computer. Do they support 3080? Oh, they do support 3080. Oh, that's nice. All right, which, 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 which version do I have? 4092496. Did I get that one? We could build the kernel module from source. Do we want to build it from source? That's not as nice. Uh, get log, grep, get tag maybe? Oh, good. Uh, what did I do? Mod info? Oh, DKMS status. Alright, I'm getting better at DKMS. I do not want to make dirt. Alright, I'm actually tired. Maybe I'm too tired to stream. Okay, uh, let's reboot and let's pray the computer comes back. Uh, so this is the NVIDIA open kernel module source. You saw me work with it on another stream. I actually wrote a whole bunch of stuff, but it was pretty janky and it's before I had this beautiful Python uh, IO control interceptor. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see. Oh, you're getting 400 tokens per second on two A100s. You're right, Grok is a scam. Yeah, no shit. Now, you know what I did tell AMD today? I'm like, Look, what I'm telling you right now, you're going to pay some like multi-million dollar consultants to and they're going to tell you in two years. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just. How do we beat them, guys? How, how do we beat them? I, I think that working with, trying to work with AMD was a mistake. Definitely working with the company was a mistake. We had a guy come in Discord. I'm actually like, I almost want to read this. Like, it's, it's, it's like, eight of us met with one of our VPs yesterday to coordinate. I'm hoping to let you know by Monday if we can try and help you solve this. Like, is this guy trolling? I mean, eight of us met with a VP and they're, go and I don't even know what this they're referring to. Solve what? All I said was the only thing I want from Intel is a cheap price on bulk A770s. Is this, this is like, Can someone, can someone help me understand this? Can someone with like a normie job help me understand this? Well, no, 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 no. Look, um, the computer's back. Do I have NVIDIA SMI? Sweet, NVIDIA SMI. Oh, look how good NVIDIA drivers work. Oh, they work so good. Okay, go straight to TSMC. I like that thinking. Wait, why is my bitrate shit? No, 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 whatever. Um, is it over for AMD? I am not bullish on AMD, no. Uh, look, again, they were, they were very nice to me. Um, but you can't take nice, they also didn't do anything, right? Like, I got zero docs, I got zero firmware. I'm not going to get any docs, I'm not going to get any firmware. Um... You say making a chip is like really hard. Why? Why is it hard? We have a lot of work to do. Like we have so much work to do in TinyGrad. Um, we also have to get adoption for TinyGrad. I know it's expensive. That's not, getting money is actually surprisingly easy. I'm very good at getting money. 
If we need money, you just tell me how much money we need, we'll get money. Um, no, literally, I'm these people's like dream founder. You know what I mean? Like whenever I read stuff about like what makes like what you're looking for in startup founders, it's like, wow. I mean, no, I have all my, you know, attitude issues, but like aside from that, um, you know, getting money is easy. Why is making chips hard? Verilog is hard? Dude, I used to do that shit in high school. Um, needing timing? Is timing that much different from an ASIC than on an FPGA? I'm not worried about that. All right, I think I can write some sick Verilog. Um, again, we have a whole stack to do. Once we're at the Verilog, it's going to be lots of fun. Oh, well, okay. We're not trying to manufacture chips. I'm, I'm hoping... Like, these, you can't work with these companies, right? Some of them, they're, they're, they're all... I, I just, like, I said this yesterday. Imagine that instead of comma just... Uh, working with the cars, we tried to work with the car companies. We'd be out of business so long ago. I don't know why I thought the GPU companies were different. They're not. Um, and look, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make fun of them again. I just kind of feel bad, like, like they're not gonna make anything good, okay? Like the, the NVIDIA, sorry, the, the AMD driver firmware situation, like it's not gonna get better. And I don't know. See, again, like, I'm an optimist. I like to think things are going to get better. They're just not, right? In five years, you know, maybe there'll be maybe there'll be another guy like me in five years who thinks he's going to try to use AMD to do some machine learning. And, like, it's going to be the same shit, man. <laughs> um, so I'm actually pretty impressed with the open FPGA world. So I did on another stream, I built a RISC-V uh, processor. And I got the whole compiler running on Mac. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think that might be, uh, might be doable. Uh, my thoughts on the extropic chip, chip or all I've seen was a picture, right? Like I can make a picture with, 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 uh, I'm not, I'm not like trying to hate. Honestly, I don't know that much about it. I'm just saying, I like to believe, you know, we can all make fun of AMD, but AMD has a chip that I've touched. Tenstorm, got to respect Tenstorm, right? Tenstorm actually shipped me this car. And you know why I respect Tenstorm? They didn't ship me this car because my name is George Hotz. They shipped me this car because I paid them $800. Respect. Why we respect Tenstorm. Um... I'm not so sure Tenstorm has all the right uh, ideas, at least for the current machine learning paradigm. These companies are filled with stupid, but like, where do you guys work? Where do you guys work? Where do you work and what do you do? You work in ad tech. Oh, you used to work at Tens Torrent, I say. VFX post production. Finance. Nice try. You work at AMD. Um, <laughs> Air Force. Okay. So for the, for those of you that for those of you, we've got a bunch of software engineers here, it looks like. Well, finance. What, what is what is finance? Like, what, what Can someone describe to me what finance is? Like, are you saying you work as like a bank teller? Or you work at like a hedge fund? Old lady processing invoices? I just, I don't really know. I know what some of you do. All right. So some of you work. I, I understand what like you people who work in like normal uh, Excel, Python. I heard Jane Street's all written in Excel. I heard it's just one big Excel spreadsheet that 
to do. All right, all right. I'm not gonna get any answers from you guys. Let's look at some Nvidia shit. Okay, so we're doing some sniffing. Let's do some sniffing. Um, so let's first check in TinyGrad and see if we have some CUDA working. Do we have any CUDA working? Test some CUDA. I don't think we, I think we have to install CUDA. Oh, test Tiny Ad. Okay, we don't have MVRTC, so we have to install CUDA. You find Q2204, install CUDA. How to install CUDA? Step by step. We installed the driver. Great. Install GCC. I'm not installing GCC. Really? No, 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 no. There's got to be a better way to install CUDA. Here, sudo apps install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. Sick. Install it, install it. Let's do that in a screen. Okay. So this is my uh, hip GPU driver. We're gonna call it, we're gonna call it NV. No, oh, we're not connected. We're gonna call it NV. What do you guys think is like, that's like the name for uh, the layer below. Well, I'm tired. Um, that's like the name for the layer below uh, CUDA. MV GPU driver. I'm gonna have to get the um Let's get some copy past up in here. Call this nviopto.py. That's a pretty good prolog. Intercept IO control here. Um, we're going to call the I.O. control. And, uh, what does it do with E.T. and shit? Oh, that's cool. Where do I get like the I bear? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I love this. I just love copying and pasting. This hit by O control, I think I wrote that on stream. That's some mad high quality code. Uh, and actually, I think I can just copy and paste this shit too. Oh, we definitely have to install the hook. Wow, install hooks here. Um, it's kind of annoying that I'm copying and pasting this. Was this all format struct is used here? I should really make this a library. Should we listen to some nice non-copyrighted music? The quality of the driver is not synonymous with whether there's a package of the default repository. Totally, bro. No, it totally is. What? I don't agree with that. Uh, oh, test tiny ad. Okay, good. We got some CUDA. You know, we also have a PTX backend. You can just do PTX. Actually, I'm not sure you can do PTX. I think you have to do CUDA and PTX. I don't know. Let's put those some debug in that bitch and take a look. And that don't. Oh, is that hip? Wait. Oh, if you have both, it defaults to HSA. Oh, that's brutal. There we go. Check out our beautiful PTX. Um, I love this little computer. It's got, a, it's got an NVIDIA. Does NVIDIA still support OpenCL? Uh, let's take a look. Let's see who shows up in CL info. Will it be AMD? Will it be NVIDIA? Let's find out. Uh, NVIDIA and no AMD, because I probably have to install some package to do that, but I didn't install. So yes, NVIDIA still supports. 
Here, you want to try it? If I do GPU equals one, that should be. Yeah, there you go. Open CL on video. We can check it as soon as we got our <laughs> sniffer going. Uh, the PTX generated. Oh, you want to check that? Uh, I think this might work. If I say debug equals six, it might give me PTX. No, it's not gonna give me PTX with that. But if I do debug equals six with CUDA equals one, it will give me PTX. It'll actually go even further than PTX and give me SAS. So this is the SAS. So PTX is like a LLVM IR. Um, we also have a pretty PTX printer. Check out our pretty PTX printer. Uh, who contributed that? Some popular guy on Twitter contributed that. Um, Yo, Tiny Grant's so good, guys. Ugh. As soon as this shit's like usable, we're getting there. We're getting there. Like, I mean, here, you want to train the beautiful M Nest on CUDA? Let's race. Who wins? Oh, we got to compile everything. Takes a little bit of time. Wow, that's kind of slow. It's kind of slow, boys. Let's see, who thinks HSA is going to be faster? Ooh, score one for, uh... Yeah, it's already pretty usable, right? I think I think we're getting good. No, what was proud? I was thinking about today a lot was, um, like, unifying the scheduler... We have like schedule item and JIT item, and then we have like, like the JIT's a capturing JIT, and it should be a scheduled JIT, not a capturing JIT. I think we can cut a whole bunch of lines like that too. Um, but yeah, no, I, I wanna go to, I wanna go to HSA KMT. Like we have to write everything that goes flush up against the driver uh, before we can really consider our own chips. Like there's still, we still have to do this. We can work around AMD's bullshit. Don't expect anything from AMD. Um, and I won't sell their boxes with their GPUs because they're shit. <laughs> but uh, otherwise I think, I think yeah. Um, but this stuff, this stuff's like so, it's so good that it just like, it just like works. So when we remove, when we switch from HSA to HSA KMT, we're going to be able to, you're gonna need nothing you need to install one package called co-manager. Uh, and that's just the compiler for AMD. And we could even get past that uh, if we wrote our own RDNA backend. Now, where we're really going to start to have fun. I mean, we are now committed. Like, we're, we're AMD's open sourceness was kind of a scam. Like, there's really very little that's more open source about AMD than is open source about NVIDIA. NVIDIA open sourced their kernel driver, which is the main, like, thing we kind of care about. Um, there's not all this intermediate crap open, and sure, CUDNN is not open source, but do you care one bit about MI Open or any of NVIDIA's, uh, any of AMD's high-level ML crap? Like, not at all. So it, it turned out that for TinyCorp, like, effectively, NVIDIA is just as open as AMD. Um, the driver is, like... I thought that AMD GPU driver actually spoke with AMD GPU hardware. It doesn't. There's firmware blobs in the middle. I knew this about NVIDIA's driver. Uh, NVIDIA has this, uh, NVIDIA to be fair has a bigger uh, firmware blob. But um, yeah, no, nobody cares about any of AMD's. Like, that stuff doesn't matter. Um, but we do need to get right to the kernel on these things. I want TinyGrad to replace the entire user space of both NVIDIA and AMD. Um, so that's kind of what I'm what I'm working on here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm 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 happy with the way things are going. Um, we're gonna we're gonna push past HSA. I think HSA was a good intermediate, but we can push past it to HSA KMT, and we really can get everything. Um, then we're just done. All you'll have to do if you have a modern Ubuntu. If you have Ubuntu 2004 with the HWE kernel, or if you have Ubuntu 2404, you will not need a single user space package except co-manager, which is the compiler, to, to run AMD. And I think we should even get rid of that. Like imagine, 
Imagine, by the way, I don't know if you guys have seen this. These are the only two uh, libraries that uh, Tiny Guide requires. We are almost ready to remove NumPy. One of the big things Willis Parrot actually did uh, was replace the, we now have a random number generator. You can now do three fry equals one and it will use tiny grad primitives for random number generation that matches jacks. Uh, TQDM is just in there as like a meme. As soon as you remove NumPy, we'll remove TQDM too. Um, let's remove NumPy first. Uh, there is some guy in the Discord working on removing this. Um, I want to remove that entirely. I want to just go to the... So we have these things called autogens. Um, and these autogens are like, they're just automatically generated from, from header files that are in, that are in open source libraries. Uh, these don't count toward the line count of tiny grad because they're not hand coded. They're just, they're just generated garbage. Um, so we can, uh, we'll add metal here and then we can remove metal from here as well. Like I want install requires to be an empty list. Yo, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just getting... I don't know, like AMD bummed me out. Like it just, it just bummed me out, guys. You know, I was just, I, I was really, I was really bummed out this week by AMD. Um, they're not gonna be good. They're never gonna be good. But it really was my fault for like expecting them to be good. And we're still gonna get AMD on ML perf. We're just not gonna sell a tiny box with AMD. Because I can't, I can't bring myself to buy 600 of these cards with broken firmware, you know? I'm trying to like write this up. Well, I'm not that great of a communicator. I learned this during the debates. I learned this during my my uh, my Connelly and Yudkowsky debates. Like I have ideas that are clear in my head, but I don't always communicate them great. Uh, I'm a good cheerleader. Yeah, I mean that's kind of your job, right? You you want to you want to run a startup. You're pretty much just a cheerleader. And you got to keep the dumbasses away from your company, right? You got to make sure that, you know, you don't start, you don't end up, you just say no to a lot of people. Um, and, you know, you got you to put yourself in between, like, like people who want to come mess with your success. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of, uh, of Kama this year. Kama's doing really well. Um, Got to keep the consultants away, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I want to write a IO control uh, sniffer here. So when we do, when we do. Uh, KF, I think it's, yeah, I guess it's called KFD. So these are all the uh, IO control calls for, actually, we can just do it. Um, so if you just add import, yeah, if you just, you just need to import these things. So you can just say like from extra dot, uh, Hip GPU driver dot hip by octal uh, import. Actually, I think I just need to do that. That should be enough. So if we do now uh, HSA, we can see all of the. Yeah. So these are all of the AMD KFD calls. And we're going to write basically the same version of this, but uh, for NVIDIA. And then hopefully, when we write the HSA KMT driver that starts to use these, we'll be able to use the same basic skeleton for the NVIDIA driver. We're calling it NV. Uh, so you'll say NV equals 1 instead of CUDA equals 1. Uh, and then NV equals 1 will just talk directly to the NVIDIA GPU. So you will not need to install CUDA except for the compiler. So it'll be the same sort of thing where it'll just use the compiler. Um, 
Yeah, but that'll be cool. Uh, so we can go in here to PTX equals one. Let's make this debug equals six. So there's a layer lower than unsupported version eight. Wait, what? I thought that was changed. I don't know. Pull. This was actually updated. Um, so this stuff here is called SAS, and I would like to start uh, to start outputting SAS. Um, Biden sniffed me, bro. is a is a very good is a very good contributor to this stream. I was gonna I was gonna say sniffing Nvidia like Biden, but then I realized that I already did enough clickbait this week by saying we were looking for exploits in AMD's GPU. We were actually just trying to understand how it works because we don't hate AMD. We just, like, they could be good, but they just choose not to be, guys. Like, they, they, imagine, I, I, I'm sure the people who work there are nice. Again, everyone seems nice. But nice doesn't build great things. Where are the people who want to build great things? You really think they know they're choosing not to be great? I do, kind of. Yeah, I do. The best engineers I knew from AMD left or went to NVIDIA. I mean, like, how demoralizing must it be to be at AMD and, like, watch GTC? Right? Like, I felt demoralized watching GTC. And, like... I don't even, like, I don't even, GT, like, the, B, the B200 is sick, and I felt demoralized. So how do you think AMD feels? Um, no, I mean, you know, yeah, you get these, you get these kind of talent magnets, like NVIDIA, where all sorts of smart people go to work there. Um, and yeah, it creates this, it creates this snowball effect. Um... But I do think, I do think they choose not to be great. Yeah, AMD pays less. Here's what I would do if I was AMD, right? Fire 80% of your engineers and double the salary of the remaining 20%. This is how you get places in the world, you know? Figure out how to figure out how to motivate those twenty percent of your engineers to be like, yo, we're gonna build something great. You know? No, don't merge with Intel. Merging with Intel is like merging with McDonald Douglas. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, like, <laughs> I will say a few things. Jim Keller went to work at AMD and built the Epic chip. Jim Keller went to work at Intel and didn't do shit. So, you know, it's not Jim Keller that's different. <laughs> um, am I interested to use TinyGrad? You can use TinyGrad to do that. I don't know, I don't know anything about that. This is, to check out NVIDIA's stuff. It's called SAS. Let's see if we have, can find some documents on it. Uh, yeah, someone wrote this. It's pretty cool. No one supported ADA. Is it a quality code? Um, the guy who wrote the Douglas J, the guy who wrote the wrote the Apple stuff, is pretty cool. Did he update it yet for uh, M three? Why was M three so weird? mouse working I think 
I put an issue up. I don't know, I put an issue up about that. Uh, I don't know if this works with the M3 GPU. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. Well, AMD needs to create a cult like NVIDIA did. Yeah, maybe. No, see, what they need is a differentiating factor, right? There, there's nothing that differentiates. Like, why would you use AMD? It's the crappy NVIDIA, right? You got to make yourself not the crappy NVIDIA. So... Okay, our, our, uh, man, sometimes I'm in like a good brain state and I can like write, like I, I think that, that my original blog post was, was one of the best, I don't know, I was in like a good mind state when I wrote this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, your good mind state is like a flow state, you just kind of get like lost in stuff, like you're not really thinking about anything else. Um... Tiny Corp's a computer company. We sell computers for more than they cost to make. True, I've been thinking about this one for a while. In the limit, it's a chip company. That's true. Um, human brain is about 20 page blocks of compute. True, I've written various blog posts about this. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, we updated, updated the website today. So the tiny box is now, uh, it's going to be 64090s. 64090s is four petaflops. And those aren't sparsity petaflops. This box is pretty much equivalent to two H100s. Um, so for $25,000, it's equivalent to almost two H100s. Uh, yeah, no, this is like, that's a beast of a box. Uh, you know, look, I know it's not like, it's not like, like the AMD thing was sexy. That was a sexy narrative. We are still going to also get AMD on ML perf. We're going to get AMD on ML perf. We're going to do this. But why does no one use AMD? The software is terrible. There's kernel panics in the driver. <laughs> um... Wait, you think OpenAI, I don't know. Who's still at OpenAI? You still can't run Grok in the tiny box? You wanna run Grok in the tiny box? They reached out. Um, we need to, we have a lot of work to do to make, we gotta make Llama and stuff faster. We made it pretty fast for AMD, but we gotta redo this work for NVIDIA, but it's a lot easier on NVIDIA. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're still gonna do this. I was very careful, by the way, to never say what GPUs we're using in the tiny box. Um, I thought this might happen. I thought something like this might happen. Uh, we designed the tiny box to support, we really designed the tiny box for three versions, red, green, and blue. Uh, I didn't want, I, I wanted to commit to one. And I was down to commit to red until, you know, the latest set of driver issues just made it like, they're never gonna fix it. Um, and we went over that on the last stream, why like, it's never gonna get fixed. <laughs> it's gonna get mitigated. It's never gonna get fixed. Um, so yeah, this is the tiny box now. I'm sorry about the price increase. Uh, you know, we're, we're passing the price increase on to you. Uh, but it's four petaflops, int eight petaflops, two, two float uh, 16 petaflops. Uh, yeah. I think we can do FP8 with that too. Maybe we only get two FP8. No, we get four FP8 if we accumulate an FP16. 
Um, but yeah, no, we're just we're just gonna focus on Nvidia really. Um, like I think that it's a much better use of time. Like, it, fine, it's not documented, but like, who cares? Like, the the, the docs are almost worse than just the, like reading the stuff. Um, okay. So yeah, I showed you guys the actually. I don't want to add a like. Add a get em. Uh, we'll say we'll call it ioctal sniff. Uh, from extra dot hip GPU driver. Where you from? Right, it's actually, we'll just call it ioctal. So now it's it's easy. It, we'll just add this to Tiny Grad if you uh, so if we run the HSA one here, we can say ioctal equals one. Here we go. You can see the ioctals. So let's enable ioctal for NVIDIA. By the way, we can make ioctal work on Qualcomm too. Uh, I wrote this for Qualcomm. My Qualcomm one is less clean than my hip one because I wrote the hip one later. But yeah, it's actually really cool. We can run all this stuff on my folding phone. Um, yeah, when I saw Sam Altman was out, I mean, you just don't know who to who to like side with there. Sam Altman's a megalomaniac and Ilya's a communist. Uh, I don't know, like, like who, do you, who do you side with? Um, uh, no, I, where is Ilya? That's a good question. Uh, where is Ilya? Uh, if he doesn't identify as a communist, I'm happy to, I'm happy. If Ilya Satskiver would like to debate me um, on the merits of communism, uh, I'm, I'm interested. I heard Sam Altman's Lex sucked and he didn't really talk about anything. All right, so let's add, uh, let's go into Ops CUDA here and let me add an import here. Oh, we're gonna have to include some, we're gonna have to include some like, I don't care that this import isn't used crap. So we're not calling it CUDA because CUDA is not licensed for data center deployment, but NV is licensed for everything. MIT boys, MIT. Actually, what is the license on the uh, on the NVIDIA driver? I'm curious. Oh, MIT. All right, cool. You, you guys know I don't think NVIDIA is the bad guys, right? I don't think AMD is the bad guys either. You know who I think the bad guys are? Anyone, anyone who sells you a metal box for more than it costs to make is not the bad guys. Like a normal metal box. And they're not like trying to like, like it's not like a scam metal box where you're just licensing the metal box. Anyone who legitimately sells you a metal box for more than it costs them to make, we respect. We respect fellow box makers. What are you saying, Alex? Watched Haiti videos last night, dude. Dude, Haiti's fucked. <laughs> Don't you want mythic AI? Never heard of him. Sounds mythic. Uh, okay. So we have the sniffer. 
Uh, we just need to install the sniffer. I'm tired, I'm sorry, I'm not going as fast as I usually go. Sniff. Oh, look, we sniffing, boys. Mm, good sniffing. All right, so look at all these. Oh, I love Python. Like, how nice is that, that it just prints, like, dev NVIDIA control and stuff, right? Oh, I spent so much time on this in C. Like, everything's just so painful in C. Um, oh, I don't know about analog. I don't know if that works. Okay. So now, let's find okay, the extra MVGP driver. This one's a little bit more complicated. Um, so we're gonna have to find what's sniffing where. We sniffing, boys. We sniffing. Outside the team ups. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm tired and we're out of highball. Should we have some late night coffee? Let's have some late night coffee. This only takes away from your stream tomorrow. has a lot of errors. Um, okay, so I wrote this stuff before. Let's bring up CUDA IOCTAL sniffer. I wrote this in C last time, so let's take a look. You know, this is gonna be one of those moments where I'm like, what asshole wrote this shit? Uh, I really wrote this in not a very good style. I think I've gotten like, I've really become a better programmer since I wrote this. I've become a programmer and less of a hacker. Like Tiny Grad's taught me more about programming. Working on Tiny Grad. I, I love the comments on Twitter that are like, I spend too much time on Twitter. I gotta cut the Twitter back. Um, I love the comments that are like, like tiny red is the essence of, of, of machine learning. I read this when I want to understand how something works. Um, it's really it's really made me a better programmer. I, I like I think I could like rewrite so much. I think I could like so much a better. Uh, I'm so much better of a programmer now than I was when I was at Comma. You agree my coding style has matured. Thank you. Um, you know, tiny red is like 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 like. You know, I, I think of it just like the way like authors write books. I don't know, I don't know what like, my next thing will be. It upsets me when people say I give up. You know how many years I've been working on Tiny Grad for? How many years have I been working on it for? You can abstract forever. You can build the most beautiful things. And you know you're building great things if it's small, because you're doing compression. Take a look at where these things are defined. Go to the driver here. Rip grep, that's some sick code. Whoever wrote rip grep. Okay. So 
we're gonna have to like find these automatically. This one, how do I generate this? I used, I think I use the same code gen crap uh, that I usually use. So there's a plank to pi. I have plank to pi, sweet. Um, I just like plank source equals that plank to pi source control star. file directory oh because I gotta do like this crap too um, uh, start out H oh it has an error it has to have an error Source code has one error. Oh, NV types wasn't found. Okay, we're gonna have to find NV types. So like, I think these controls are the IO controls. Um, yeah, like that's an IO control, I believe. We can look and see if those like match what we saw. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of printing this wrong. Let's just print the IO control as the actual request. Uh, when is FD less than zero? Grips in Rust. I was wrong about Rust. Rust is a sick programming language. I'm, I, I'm, you know what? Maybe part of me is just I'm a, too much of an old man for Rust. You think I can get good at Rust? I, I like Python too much. Oh no, these aren't the I/O controls. These are different things. These are NR. Um, all right, let's see where that's defined. Let's start with that. Including an NV escape. Okay, let's start with that file. <coughs> no, Java's a shit programming language. So that just didn't do anything. Oh, I think we have to define something probably. Wait, what? One of those defines. Oh no, I need, I know what it is. Um, there's like crap I need to. Like that. There we go. I should probably be doing KCDF stun on all of these. I don't want to call it NVI Optal. That's already what I called it. Um, it 
called Jedi Octal. Alright, now we have this file called Jedi Octal. How do I do the import here? Be careful how you do these stupid imports. Uh, here we go. Um, extra MV GPU driver import MV Octal. Excited! I'm going on. A, I'm going on a bike trip. I'm going on a bike trip in uh, end of May. We're going to we're going to Eastern Europe, boys. We're gonna we're gonna cycle the old the old Berlin Wall, the old the old Iron Curtain. I was thinking back to my India bike trip. A nice nice India bike trip. A good memory. Moldova has beautiful beaches. Do like Estonia and stuff. Um, okay, so how did I how did I do this? The NR. Um, I don't know if it's some of them. Of type equals NVI Optal Magic. Where's that defined? Kernel open common NV. It's also here. Why is that kernel open and not kernel open? Well, that looks pretty useful too. is literally F. F, boys, it's F. Okay. If, I think I call it, why do I call it I type? Oh, because you can't say type in Python or something? Equals, um, Look at how much more carefully I'm doing this now. I used to code like more of an idiot, you know? I used to code fast and like an idiot. Now I code slow and like an idiot. No CUDA capable device detected. Extra has no... Oh, wait, shit. I mean, Gen IO control. Okay, that looks pretty nice. So that's if it has NV magic. Um, read link there, but I'm not sure read link's gonna matter, but whatever. Um, all right, so now we have to go look at these. Where's Jedi Octal? Okay. So what's the first dioctal we're getting? 200. So ask card info. Um, if nr equals mv dot ask mv ask card info. And ask here. By the way, notice how everything still works. So we're intercepting. Like I'm so happy with this. Rust sucks. I now prefer C, and now Zig is a better C. I haven't looked at Zig. Um, oh, Rust. What I will say about Rust is there are some incredible tools like Rip Grep written in Rust. Or there's another, um, uh, uh, 
What's, what am I thinking of? Uh, rough, the Python linter. It's an okay language. It seemed a bit like, again, I mean, let's, take, let's take a quick look at Zig. What I remember is it felt like scripting language-y. Know what that looks like. This is a really nice website, actually. I, I want Tiny Grad's website to look this good. Man, I gotta make a good website for Tiny Grad. Oh, I have so much to do. I have so much to do that isn't fucking with GPUs. Defer is really nice, though. What else has defar? I've used, doesn't like Go have defar? Yeah, Go has defar. I've used this in Go. Um, you can design one. Can we send PR? Will it be nice? I'm actually kind of down to like pay someone if they want to make the website nice. Um, you want to contribute to the site? Like, here, here's the problem. Like, I, I want it to be beautiful and simple. Um, like we get website, people who want to contribute to the site. I, I want like the same, I want I want someone who really understands the tiny grad, no, not comma, like comma's website's bullshit. Comma's website's made in Webflow, which is only slightly, like it, it's, it, uh, don't get me started. Don't get me started on on, on, on my hatred for comma. Like comma's website's like fine. Like, I mean, we are, like, comma is way more consumer friendly than, like, like, it's not a dev kit anymore. Have you noticed that? That comma the reacts is not a dev kit. It's like, it's a consumer product, really. <laughs> you're, you you got to be an early adopter to buy it. But if you're, like, a normal early adopter type, you'll actually have a great time with this thing now. Um, but, no, I mean, I, I, like, I like this website. What's it written in? Also, please do not put any fucking JavaScript on Tiny Grad's website. Hugo. I'm okay with a generator as long as it actually generates. What is Hugo? Go. I use Jekyll for my blog, and it's written in Ruby, and I don't love it. I just, Ruby is is a janky. Uh, it's okay. Ruby is janky. I shouldn't say that. Actually, like, like by the way, to the people who make software like this, you know how much I love you guys. Like the people who like, like just. Like all this open source software that I use, man, like it makes the world nice. Uh, I don't like Ruby though. Uh, I think that Ruby is like, yeah, it's, it's Englishy. You're right. Like you can't. It was made by like a linguist. I well, let's not get into. Um, I'm okay. With, my point is, I'm okay with a static site generator being used for a tiny grads website. It doesn't actually have to be editable as long as we can run the static. We have to use a static site generator. As long as we can run the static site generator in uh, in CI and it auto builds and stuff. And let's look at some more code samples. Memory leak detection, see interoperability, and part. When is Jai gonna launch? <laughs> I know it's not all right. Let's not get distracted by programming languages. Um, also, 
well, so I posted in Tiny Grad Dev uh, a good like first issue with Tiny Grad. Hopefully, someone does it. It's a good like first. You can kind of just just get a feel for it. Um, if the CI passes, you probably did it right. It's the removed globals. If 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 someone's looking for something to to do tonight. Okay, so we have escape card info. Let's go take a look at how we actually parse this. No, I didn't parse it. Probably because in in uh okay, it's called INV control arg. Control card info T. And these are the same file. Oh, maybe that's a boring one to start with. Let's find something that we actually parse. Um RM control. I think this is the interesting one. Yeah. Uh, so we have an NVOS parameters. Was that the one? This draw this is a lot more complicated than the AMD one, which kind of sucks. Um, code has two errors. We have to find NV types. Should we use all these source ones or should we use kernel open? Should we use source? Uh, how do I do imports here? Clang logs. This clankify thing's pretty cool. I mean, the code's kind of janky, you read it, but uh, okay. Oh, no inclusion. Well, <coughs> okay, good. We have a lot of stuff here now. Okay, so NVSC RM control gets an NVOS parameters here. Uh, so let's steal that from KFD IO control. No, 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 sorry, HIP IO control. Get struck. We'll take get struck and I'll we'll put them here too. Let's see why I wanted these now. Um, struct doesn't actually print it. Here we go. Let's find a way to do that automatically. Have you ever tried libtorch? 
No. That's pretty cool though, right? How nice is that? Like I worked so hard to do this crap in uh in uh see. So let me figure out how to get these. I want to get all the NV esks from NV. Shouldn't be that hard. I should be able to say something like endure it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so just NV esk. Endure x for x endure NV if x dot starts with. NVS, man, I love Python. It feels so powerful in Python, you know? Okay, so. No, we want to make this a dictionary. Um, get atter NV X. Python so much. Oh, that's so easy. Tiny Gret's website gonna have a web GPU demo. No, we got rid of web GPU. It's not really the right direction for the project. Um I feel I mean, you know, look, the guy who did it worked really hard on it, I feel a little bad. Um, and he's welcome to maintain it in a fork. Unfortunately, like it required a bunch of hacks across TinyGrad because WebGPU was just slightly different from everything. Um, maybe someday we'll bring it back if we can bring it back. If those like hacks integrate nicely, just like every time we would make changes, we'd have to spend extra time dealing with WebGPU and that's why we had to cut it. Um, it was a maintenance cost. It was cool though. There were cool demos. We had like WebGL too. I mean, they'd be pretty easy to put back. No, no, that's not why I have funding. That's the wrong mentality, right? You're never gonna have, funding doesn't help you do more stuff like that, right? You always have a fixed budget for complexity. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't just say, oh, you're funding, you can, you can, you can fix that. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive print thing. I don't really care about that. What I care about is the command. So let's get rid of these things. Um, we might we might very well bring it back. If if TinyGrad matures to a point that it's like the best option, it also is not the best option. That's a pretty competitive space. Like no one's going to be training in the web. Okay, so where do we get these magic numbers? Oh, I know that one, that's like a 2080. So I had all that, I had, that's, that, that's the control thing. Yeah, here we go. All right, so what is the control? Can I just do that, is that gonna work? find a lot of stuff. That's not a big deal. How big is NVI Octo now? Ooh, that's big. It's not that big. I love how fast computers are too. Oh, like just, man, I, I love computers so much. Um, okay. So, how do we get 
going to find these? The same sort of crap we did here. Except instead of NVS, we're going to look for other things. Wow, that got big. Um, so would they all have the word control command in them? Yeah, they do. Okay. So it's going to be a little trickier. NV commands. If x dot starts with uh, NV and x sub 6 colon dot starts with control command. This is this is sheer skill, boys. Unhashable type list. Oh, well, don't be a list now. Um, something's wrong with some of them types. right okay that seems good then Wait. oh we don't want to parse this every time uh, that should not be empty Just focus on this one for now. Oh, that's in control 2080 GPU. Oh, it's not even here. GPU thing is someday we'll bring it back. We just couldn't maintain the complexity while we're working on it. It was slowing us down. Um, it's kind of web GPU is annoying. cmd and nv commands else unhandled cmd uh, print nv commands sub x dot cmd I think we can actually go beyond this and also extract the struct oh if this works it's going to be sick love python love python alright oh, I don't know why all those commands are on oh they're unhandled just because I didn't include the shit Oh, that's easy. Uh, so where's that file? We should include more shit. Okay, that's control.h. But we also need to do control star control.h. Like that. How much is that going to pitch me out?
bitching me out hard. Wait, the Tiny Grid repo is public? It's Geohot XXX. I'm pretty sure it's public. The secrets. Uh... Wow, two megabytes. You're getting big, boys. Oh no. That doesn't work. Someone's trying to tell me I gotta wear a mask. Do I need not need all the controls? Maybe I was aggressive with all the controls. We might just do them one at a time. Actually, I don't really understand. In control 2080, it includes all the other controls. I don't really understand. Why doesn't it just include them? So I don't understand if I just do 20, control 2080.h, why does that not include 2080 GPU? It does. Let's just do that. Let's track this down. Oh, why is it doing nothing? Handler inclusion directive is not handled. Why? Is it because I didn't? I don't understand that. Where did I? No, I have Clang to play here though. Nothing for inclusion directive. Why is it doing nothing for inclusion directive? Is it because I have pragma once? Get rid of that. I don't even know what that does. Can't find the files. No. Is there an argument to claim to apply to fix this? Include declarations to find outside of the source file. Don't need a macro there. Parses object and source files only ignore includes. Do that. I want the opposite of that. I want you to handle includes. Oh, include declaration defined outside of source file. So dash I. Oh, okay, there's a different problem at least. I don't know what that means. I 
Hey, we also don't have to do this all as one thing, actually. Um, let's just do that. And let's make this control I octal. And do I on there. Why is it doing nothing for all those inclusion directives still? I gave it a dash I, it shouldn't do that. But now let's see if control I octal has the one we need. That's just done. I'm not going to call this control I octal. What's the actual stupid name for it? Ask I octal. has some wild bullshit in it. What is this? Oh, the comments are broken? Oh. Oh, I hate including things. I don't include things. I regret including things. That's right. No one's included anymore. No one's included. Are these controls all base controls or do some of them include crap? Some of them include crap. 2080 does not include crap. Okay, 2080 star dot H. Let's try that. I'm gonna rebuild. Oh, damn it. Why am I re-declaring stuff? Understand why I'm redeclaring stuff. Those things are getting in. Unhashable type list. Okay, that's a different problem. Um, first check in ops. NVI octal here, we'll say, and type of, I did this wrong, you actually have to do this. Uh, is instance. Okay. Good. Now we have these commands being handled. Um, I don't really care about these, we can just skip that for now. So we have the, the commands now for the 2080s. Let's get the commands for uh, the 00s. So we want control 00. This is probably fine to just list out. Kind of slow. Boring, boring, boring. Okay, what other numbers do we need? We need six through. So NVIDIA breaks their stuff down into these like. Yeah, this. Okay, that's just that one. That's not bad. Um. 
We need C3, C, F. I like to have what a bunch of these are. Oh, get class engine ID. Uh, what other ones am I missing? Oh, I'm missing a 2080 there. Um, oh, this is just 80. We need 80 too. I'm sure these numbers all correspond to like special NVIDIA crap. Bro, I love that NVIDIA made this open source. This is what I mean. Like they're really just as open source as AMD is when it comes down to it. Like when it comes down to the things you care about. When it comes down to lots of crap you don't care about. All right. Well, what's the problem here? There's just like two of them that are broken. Auto-generate anymore. What's broken about that? Why is that one broken? Why is that not? It's literally just this one. And of course, it involves a mask. I hate masks, man. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. Like little touch ups in my auto gen stubs here. We have to replace that with just one. Copy the said. Why don't I just do the said? I just say it will be bugging so it doesn't print all this crap. Even it'll be faster. Okay, cool. Uh, we're still missing this. Where is this defined? Wait. Oh. Control get. Oh, it's not all control GPU, I see. It's not all control command, I see. That's control get. So I think we can just do control there. Okay, cool. Uh, we just got to get this one. I think this is going to give us all the structs, too. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think these contain the structs. Yes, they do. Oh, we're in luck. Oh, we're going to get some major parser, 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 parser. So look, they're, they're auto-generated from fin files. What's a fin file? Um, but yeah, you know, now that we're switching Tinybox to NVIDIA, we really like can focus all this stuff on NVIDIA. My, my addiction to GPU understanding. Uh, okay, we've got a CB33 over here. A 12080 that didn't parse. I don't know why that 2080 didn't parse. CB33. Stonegate resolution meditation app. In honor of the revolution, it's half off at the gap. You're working on removing global size and local size? Okay. If you do it nicely, I've tried that before and I was never uh, thrilled with how it came out. Yeah, that is a great song, right?
where is this one and why didn't we understand what it was? This is the secret one that NVIDIA didn't tell you about. But we found the secret one. I remember a few of these being secret. They're not actually secret. There's like stupid reasons you can't get them. Whatever. They can just be unhandled CMDs. And it's CB33. Yeah, we have CB33. I wish this was faster. But this doesn't look too bad now, does it? You know, let's uh, intersperse it with debug equals four. All right, so basically nothing at all when it runs anything. This is all just setup stuff. Uh, all right, let's find the struts. Doesn't have a struct. How do I find the structs for these things? Where's the struct for client address space type? Oh, here's one has a struct. Oh, I have to get the put the whole thing in. Okay, cool. Um, great. So we should be able if we just add the word struct to this, it should kind of work. Um, get out of. They're all none. There are no structs. Did I do this wrong? Struct dash. Oh, they just know the word CMD, I say. supposed to know that no like that one just has the word params after it do they all have the word params after it oh they all have the word params after it okay we gotta add the word params Let's see if this gets us any of them us that one. Okay. <coughs> um, if it is not none, uh, we have to get like the data from this crap. Plus like a pointer or something. dot params s dot params is that right get struct s dot params struct ss uh, format 
construct. Okay, look at the work submit tokens. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, we're getting somewhere. for this, we can throw some join in this bitch. I forgot how little of this was actually done with IO controls. I remember there being a lot more of these last time. Maybe they're MDS. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to throw, let's parse RM Alec. RM Alec was interesting. Yeah, here we go. I wrote like crappy like uh, wrappers for this. Okay, RM Alex worth parsing. Um, is it called an RM Alex PH class? Oh no, we have to we have to get a struct. We don't need that. This is like I wrote hundreds of lines of C, and I thrashed around. You can watch me on that stream. So that's the MV Alex now. Uh, H object, H class is kind of interesting. So I think the class is the. Um, like the object like it creates these things so the different objects are pretty interesting how do I get the name of an object from a class can I Here, okay, and peer channel GP FIFO A. <coughs> oh, here, G all classes. This one's interesting, I remember. There we go. 
that's cool. That was easy. Pause right here. MD classes. Just actually do everything. IO control as class in the classes um, print Oh, it's not called. What's it called? Each class. I'm sure it's not in some of them. Yeah, there we go. Has no attribute as dict mix in? No. That looks cool, right? Unhashable type list. Where's the list? Um, and this instead. Is not defined in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so cool. Close my brackets. Gotta close your brackets. Okay, pretty good. Uh, it's an RM Alec. Let me throw an RM control here. Space to each one of these and two spaces to this one. Look a little nice. Okay, cool. So we're allocating. Yeah. Actually, the controls are probably more boring than the Alex. There you go. All right, make a root client. Ooh, confidential compute. And then don't use that one, it's secret. I did include CB2. No, that's secret. Confidential compute, boys. Um, this is Ampere. I think it's different on, um, maybe it's different on Ada. I don't know. But yeah, so you have to like alloc this shit and then you control the shit. Uh, it's also worth looking at those structs because you like target, you target like the, the uh, item with those things. So you see it like creates a device. Um, okay. So control command host get caps. How come I don't see that struct? Okay, yeah, they just get rid of the word command. But they keep the word params. Wherever I get those structs. Do any of them have the word command in them? Yeah, this one has the word command in it. I don't know. It's, I should just nest these. There's a lot of them. Um, I 
Yeah. All right. So we figure out what these things correspond to. Um, alloc is not memory. Oh, let's check out our map memory. That's probably cool. In the oh, with FD I say. Get an FD here. Format struct S. I got it's a lot of boring stuff. Interesting thing, I guess. P linear address. all these different addresses pretty cool um, so actually let me show you something Drive torch let me show you the power of something of the sniffer so we can import the sniffer here and now we can import torch Ready for some CUDA? Look at that. Those are all the NVI octals that Torch uses. Uh, so I went a lot further in my C1 and I actually wrote a sniffer for doorbells and everything. Um, I didn't do that in my HSA one. But yeah, I, uh, I parsed the cues. The cues are a lot more complex too. Because you have to, um... but yeah, so by the way, all this stuff, all these structs now that I have here are now usable in, um... we should probably put these all in the same file. I didn't actually use that. Did I actually use that import thing anywhere? No, I didn't. Uh, so this probably all belongs in the same file with some like little wrapper scripts around it. So we can create a header file that contains all of these, all of these structs and all of these things, right? They're usable. It's pretty easy to now construct these things in Python. So I wrote, I wrote this all in C like a long time ago. If you remember, you can watch that old stream. Uh, GPU driver.cc, right? Uh, this was kind of like, oh, C is so ugly. I'm just calling it crap. GPU setup. Oh, wait, that's like not even. Yeah, I created this thing called TC context. Read it. This is probably what I'm calling all the like. Look here, you make an alloc object and then you call the octal on it and then you check some things. I just think this will look nicer in Python. Probably is good to put them all in one big NV thing. The name should be different enough. Yeah, this one maybe is annoying. Like it's nice that this one's actually uh, distinct. But yeah, so the question is how much does this API, it's just sort of it's allocating like compute, uh, DMA copy, It 
does nothing there. So that must just all be on. I mean, I wrote all this. I wrote all this in, in CUDA IO control sniffer. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to just bring this into the, uh, into the kind of tiny grad world. Oh, NVIDIA doesn't use any, I mean, it's smart. NVIDIA doesn't use any IO controls when you're running. Let's run more ops and see if it continues not to use any IO controls. So it is doing some RM freeze. It is doing one alloc memory and one free. For each one of those. Um, so usually you don't want to use I/O controls because they're slow. Um, yeah, if you can avoid using I/O controls, it's a lot better. Trucks are really slow in Python though, but it's all just set up. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can check this out. I, I, this is this is how I know about all the, uh, remember I was talking about the slowdown crap? So there's actually this command called uh, get sm issue rate modifier. And yeah, you can find out that these two are half speed, but if you run that same thing on a A6000, they're not. We have to write like all the abstractions to do this stuff correctly. Also, a lot of this stuff I didn't find in, um, only some of this stuff I found in the uh, NVIDIA driver. Some of the stuff I went to Novu for. Um, but this, this code does work, or at least it did work. I don't know what's updated. Uh, this code does work to sub to actually submit a CUDA kernel without any um... it's crazy that tiny grads kind of at the point where we can like almost consider this it's still gonna be a lot of work but I think we can do it and then yeah we'll have a we'll have a stack that's completely independent of uh, of, of CUDA so yeah, this open GPU kernel module is uh, it's MIT licensed. Didn't say anything about data center, does it? Nope. Uh, so yeah, if, if we could just just not use uh, not use CUDA at all, that's uh, that's pretty cool. A sovereign stack. Like there was a time when I thought like that was like a, like an impossible dream. Like I was like that could never happen. But I actually think that we're almost to the point now. So we got to go one layer lower. And again, it's been it's been Nimblegen on on uh, Discord doing a lot of this. He's now he's now employed by the uh, by the Tiny Corp. Um, doing the uh, HSA stuff. But if we get to HSA KMT, I think this is a little bit. There's a little bit more crap here. But I don't think it's too bad. We'll just figure out what these cues are, figure out how to submit them. It's actually kind of nice that it's lower level too. This is what I mean. Like in many ways, the NVIDIA stuff is, uh, is more open source than AMD. I'm gonna give those stupid names. 
Oh, good names. Whatever. Oh, and then, yeah, so let's look at this for a sec. So yeah, this is all the this is all the the setup stuff. We can also probably avoid a lot of this, and then the GPU will uh, boot a bit faster. We'll have some multi GPU systems we can do this on too, and see what all the multi GPU calls are. But I think they're not anything. Okay. The other reason that I'm interested in this is I think that DMAing between the GPUs might be possible, maybe with a tiny hack. Uh, so let's take a look at our device here. What's this one? Whoops. Yeah, 16 gigs. So this 16 gigs is the entire, uh, is the memory. Actually, it might not be the memory. But my point is we can map the entire memory of the GPUs. This is called the bar, uh, the base address register. So this is a large bar. Small bar means it's only 256 megs. So we should be able to map all the GPU memory into like host address space. And we, we might have to mess with the IOMMU a little, but it's very possible that we can just use a Ampere compute DMA engine and then directly copy between GPUs. So since we switched the tiny box from NVIDIA to AMD, we have new challenges. Um, so NVIDIA's challenge, AMD's challenge is that their driver is a piece of shit and just hangs occasionally. And it turns out you can't fix it because it's in firmware. And you know, I emailed them, look, I, I emailed with Lisa Sue, she's very nice. Um, I mean, I don't mean that as like a, like an insult. Like it's 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 not like uh, I'm trying to like look. We can like shame them and saying like you should open source this. This is terrible. But I don't know. A, it might not work, and B, whatever, man. It's like it's like it's their thing. If they don't want to open source it, that's on them. I think it's stupid. Like, I think, it, I think they're just making a mistake. Do they, why, I'm happy to do this for AMD also. Um, I wonder what, I wonder if they even like, I don't know how these people think. Like what percent chance of success do they assign to TinyGrad as a framework? Um, what, like, I don't know. I don't know how they think like, like, here's what I would do, right? If someone came to me and they were, they looked like capable, I'd, I'd gatekeep them somehow. I'd give them like, oh, well, you want me to open source that? Like solve this problem for me, right? Um, and you start them on some bullshit and like, you know, here, here's my way of contributing. Here's bounties. Uh... You know, you want to, here's the shit. Like you want to, you want to contribute to tiny grad you do the bounties, right? Like it'd be, it'd be cool if companies kind of work that way, right? There's some kind of like, some kind of like, uh, you know, why don't you get, why don't you get stable diffusion running in half the time it's currently running in or something? Um, and then we'll open source it, right? Like there's some, like, I was, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just tired. Um, yeah, but they're nice, but they're not going to do anything. And I, I almost wish there's some like these business people. Why don't they just say no? Why don't just say no. We're not going to open source it. Fuck off, right? Like why? Why engage? And and then. You almost think at some point it's malicious, right? You almost think at some point, some guy said that on Twitter, like um, the companies are 
you know, it's it's a deliberate kind of, eh, they don't really want you to succeed, they, they, they hold you back, they gatekeep this way. That's kind of fuck gatekeeping, but like, I respect gatekeeping, right? And let's recognize it and let's understand what they're doing. People in business can't believe someone would do something for free. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some like, oh, well, why don't you contract us to have IP for a driver? But then, you know, you're just as bad as them, right? Like, we're here to disrupt things. We're here to change the world. If we want the world to be the same, if the world's going to be the same at the end of you doing what you're doing, why are you doing it? I want to get rich. Why do you want to get rich, bros? Why? Take it from a guy with a Rolls Royce. Why do you want to get rich? Most fun I ever had in my life. You know, you really like, th I think back to like the Iceland bike trip. I think back to like the two days that it rained. Where a campground just rained for two days straight. We're just stuck in this little shit tent. It starts leaking water into the, into the tent. No, being rich doesn't buy freedom. Who told you that? You know what buys freedom? Having nothing to lose. Wait, no, 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 no. Being rich does not buy freedom. Being rich means you have something to lose. I could buy AMD and open source stuff. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's a crazy tier of rich, sure. By the way, I wouldn't buy AMD. I'd buy Qualcomm and fire their whole sales team. You got a point, all right. Well, I mean, there was Rich and then there is... Actually, I don't think anyone could buy AMD. Being dead is the true source of freedom. Respect. All right. Let's, uh... Okay. Okay, Apple can buy AMD in cash. No, they can't actually. I would hope the FTC tells them to fuck off. Um, no, I would seriously buy Qualcomm though. Does Qualcomm's market cap? It's actually super undervalued. It's, it's, it's a shame how much they suck. But, uh, God. Yeah. I mean, they suck, but their chips are good. Are they gonna fix it, do you think? Like, look at how this company has had no upward share progress. It has a pretty low PE, I know. Wait, literally? Vitterby? Like Vitterby decoding founded Qualcomm? Um, man, but I could fix, you know, I always say this, I could turn this into a trillion dollar company, easy. Put me in charge of Qualcomm, like actually in charge, trillion dollar company, easy.
AMD. <laughs> I don't know about that. Man, should I buy Qualcomm stock? I always think, I always think about what the. Oh, I hate them though, but it's gonna go up. Yeah, well, no. Tenstorrent is not better than AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm. They might have a better attitude than those companies. No, okay. Intel is Intel's fucked. Uh, Intel, yeah. I mean, do we even need to really? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, does Intel have a chip that you want? Can you name an Intel chip you want? Yeah, Intel gets handed money by the government. Like, that's, the, yeah, sad. Sad. Does that pump their share price with their free money? H how much of that $20 billion had uh, DEI requirements attached to it? Um, no, Gaudi 2. This is not going to be a thing. They can't give that shit away. It's it's sad too. I, I mean, I again, look at the just 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 look at the uh, Jim Keller test. What happened when he went to Intel? Well. I don't see a revolution coming out of Intel anytime soon. Um, I mean, the problem with Tens Torrent is their chip is not the best approach to running current machine learning algorithms. Because they're spending a lot of power on decode. For those, they have five risk fives in each one of those engines. They gotta be burning a lot of power on like, on like, like each one of those chips has a little pipeline. Um, and I'm not sure the programmability makes up for it enough. I don't know this. I don't know this actually. Um, but it's not the kind of chip I would make. All right, well, let's, let's, all right, that'll, that'll be a good end of the stream. You want to, you want to take a minute and, and think about the kind of chip you want to make? We'll think about a chip, because that's the only way to beat these people. Mm, Chip.txt. So you're optimizing for a few things. Um, you care about compute per watt and you care about compute per dollar. So first off, um, there's absurd margin in just uh, matching NVIDIA. You know, it's a, it's a $3,200 being marked up to uh, 30000 So if we could just literally build a chip that matches an NVIDIA H100, we sell it for $10,000. Um, but you have to have like a good software stack, right? And this is why like MI300 doesn't succeed. It can never succeed. I, I, I don't... AMD, I offered to fix your driver for free and you said no, right? You think MI300 is gonna succeed? Your, your strategy is not, your strategy is literally copy NVIDIA badly. This is not a good strategy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, yeah.
No, Intel acquiring ARM wouldn't fix anything. I stopped having hope in Intel when their fabs just fell behind. Um, 200% profit? That's, that's, like, that's just insane. More NVIDIA stock. Oh, it's so overvalued, guys. Like, the market knows about this. Damn, why'd I sell my NVIDIA, you know? <laughs> so I can't play the stocks, man. You know, you just, you just lose. You lose the finance bros who think about this all day. Um, the only crypto games you want to play are like straight up like clean single block ARB games. Even try to play like what did meme coins now? Like want to play these games. Um, okay, so you care about compute per watt and you care about compute per dollar. Uh, okay, so a lot of your compute per watt has to do with data flow and scheduling. So you're, you're, you're burning you're burning the shit on the straight up ALU. It's actually interesting. Um, Nvidia has started playing with small data type. Small data type uh, helps you in many ways. Small data type helps you as your ALU is smaller. You fit more in each one of your caches, less RAM. That's why they're pushing FP4 and stuff, right? Um, oh, where's that? Ten you tweeted at this uh, FP4 uh, values. <laughs> cute yeah fp4 <laughs> that was a little matrix it was very cute um nxp or amlogic i don't know if they have any leading edge processes stm i mean stm has nothing that's leading edge as far as i know i think we're on the common uses the stmh and i think that's the newest uh yeah the embedded stuff <sighs> they're not on they're not on leading processes okay uh, so you want a small data type you want your data flow uh you want to static uh we schedule this spelling this right okay and then scheduling um okay so scheduling is like what kernels run where and when if, you, if your data flow is all statically scheduled your your scheduling is all kind of uh done for you okay compute per dollar so um there are a few things about compute per dollar uh you want to use chiplets AMD is actually ahead of NVIDIA on using chiplets. Um, you use these massive dies, and chiplets will help you with, with yield, basically. So the, the, they're, they're moving to these. If you want to look at the, the GB200, uh, what it actually is. Oh, where's the chip? Oh, they show the chip here. Yeah, there's a chip. B2, oh, I mean, it's a B200, sorry. Um, so yeah, they're doing the largest chip physically possible. Uh, the largest chip physically possible is what, what, I don't even know what this is. This is what I'm thinking of. Um, Wait, they're all? That's the difference between me is that they all have the multiple. That's, that's crazy. Back well. You can like see it compared to Hopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the zoomed in? There's a zoomed in version of that picture that's actually nice. Like you, can, you can see the dyes. Um, so they do have, it is it is chiplet architecture. Uh, but where's that? Oh, I guess this is it. Okay. Um, so you look, they have two compute dyes, and then these are memory dyes around here. So you have your compute, your memory, and then these are your uh, communications interfaces. Some of this stuff is just some of this stuff's just insane. So 
That's matching NVIDIA. But if we want to beat NVIDIA, I think the main way to beat NVIDIA is better software. Um, so what I mean by better software is basically just better scheduling. NVIDIA, one way to compensate for not like being careful with your scheduling and stuff is to just massively overpower everything. So these chips have a ratio of, actually I don't know on this one, but I know the hopper one. So the hopper ratio is 900 gigabytes per second and VLink, and then 3.3 terabytes per second of main memory. So that you have this ratio between memory and interlink, like that's an insane ratio. Um, Uh, that's what we need. Better software, better scheduling, Papa John's. Uh, by better software, I mean better scheduling. Uh, it's all better scheduling. It's all some form of scheduling. All ML compute is static. Uh, with very few exceptions, and we kind of have like hack workarounds for them in, in TinyGrad that, that, that work out pretty nice. Uh, you know Grok is a scam because they're using 230 megs of SRAM. I don't think that's why Grok's a scam. Why, because they don't have HBM? We I mean, don't really want HBM. Right? Grok's a scam because like, it's just like, I, I don't know. Again, like what do you do if you're, you're Grok, right? Your demo's not competitive. I don't even blame Grok. I actually don't blame Grok. I, the Grok guy's fine. The, the way that the press so uncharacteristically was like, oh, 500 tokens per second mixtral. I can literally do that. I can do that on a tiny box green. On a tiny box green, if I quantize to in date, I can get 500 tokens per second mixtral. We'll do it. We will deliver this on a tiny box green. Wow. Wait, that sounds pretty cool, right? Uh, I think we can, I think we can do it. It's VC hype. It's VC hype. They're trying to raise money. That That's what needs to go. Um, should we beat them on a tiny box screen? I don't know. All I'm thinking about is this stuff now, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed with chips and the GPUs and... Um, it should be doable. But we're getting better. Uh, I'm not looking at the GitHub, but if you check, um, GPT-2 is getting a little bit faster. Uh, am I really bearish on Gaudi 3? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. I mean, I think it's good for NVIDIA to have competition. But do you know anyone who uses it? Like it's 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 their GPUs too. Who uses who who has an A yeah. Um the people at NVIDIA are thinking about all this stuff and they're just they're just way ahead right now. Tiny grad and this method of attention. The attention's not too bad at batch size one. Paged attention. Uh, I want to try to auto discover these things. No, it's just like I'm just going to write the word better scheduling three times. It's all just better scheduling, better scheduling, better scheduling. Intel's always struggled with drivers. I mean, drivers are... Uh, I haven't seen any instability with the Intel drivers like I've seen with the AMD drivers. Um, yeah, it's this. If, if we have any hope of like beating NVIDIA, it's this. It's, it's, it's better software with better scheduling, better scheduling, better scheduling. Um, no, Intel, Intel needs to fire most of the people who work there. Yes, we all know this. Uh, chip. 
What's in design V2? Wow. We've really improved this. Wow. Tiny Grad's come so far since this shit. Um. Let's just write better scheduling a few more times. To remind myself that that's what I really need to be working on. Not messing with, maybe there won't be a stream tomorrow. Maybe, maybe this is your weekend stream, boys. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna, I gotta get, I gotta get to work on, on scheduling. There's so much stuff that needs to be scheduled. Like the tiny red dream is doable. Why did I get caught up in this stupid AMD narrative? Ugh. I just fall for stuff, guys. Twitter's really bad. Um, scheduling architecture you're looking at. I'm not talking about an architecture. So uh, both the UOPS and the kernels look like graphs. I, I, here, I can, uh, I'll show you this. I can show this. So let's bring up, like, let's bring up that tiny ad example. By the way, I can like show you what tiny ad is. It's very, it's very uh, human readable. It's just literally an adding of three numbers together. So let's graph UOPS. Net UOPS SVG. Okay, so that's what the graph uh, looks like. Now, you can put these UOPs. Oh, let me see if debug six works. Do I have Apple GPU cloned? Uh, disassemblers. Let's pull and see if this is better. Apple GPU, did you add support for the M3? No, no support for the M3 yet. Or I'm doing something else wrong. All right, we'll just do debug five. A debug five still stores the UOPs. So this is the this is the linearized. This is the topo sorted form of the UOPs, and this is a graph form of the UOPs. So for this simple thing, it really doesn't matter. But when I'm talking about scheduling, I'm talking about like that. Um, so there's also here. I'll show you another form of scheduling. So I can say graph equals one. Uh, beautiful MNAST. Actually, let me just do jet graph equals one. So this graphs what's in the jet. Uh, we can do net SVG here. So this is actually that's a, that's not what we want. That's what we want. Yeah. So this is this is uh, an MNIST trainer and how it works. Oh, I'm so happy I fixed a sign. I fixed the sign this morning. Oh. Um. But yeah, so how you choose to schedule these things. Uh, Quasilin is working for uh, working on uh, grouping some of these outputs together in Atom. So we should be able to like group these load op assigns into one thing. Oh man, this is cool. But yeah, the graphing is cool, right? Uh, yeah, so these are, these are all like the, the ops. And there's really only three kinds once you get down to it. There's reduce ops, there's element-wise ops, and then there's movement ops. So the greens are movement ops, the reds are reduce ops. And you see the ones that are shaded in, that means it's actually realized. So like this contains these things as well in this kernel, and it's kernel number 19, and it's writing into buffer number 49. So by scheduling, okay, what order do you want to put these in here? Let's you want to take a look a little bit. We can take a look. Um, we can do debug equals two. That shows all the kernels. Uh, eventually, they end up in a batch executor like this. Uh, but if you want to see, they're all here too. You can also disable the batch executor if we say jit equals two. Um, yeah. So that's all the kernels that are uh, that are training uh, that are training in this. 
Um, so yeah, back to the UOPS graph. Um, so that's a pretty boring UOPS graph, but let's get a better UOPS graph up here. Let's do a gem. Actually, we won't do four and only two. Okay. So this is what a uh, what a gem looks like. All of this here is computing indices. Uh, we have to compute indices into the matrix. And then we do some loads. Uh, oh, this is actually using whammy. So what whammy's are uh, our tensor course here. I'm going to disable tensor course. Can I just equal zero? Does that still work? Yeah, cool. So we can disable tensor course, and then we use the ALU. So those are the ALU ops. Um, so if we enable tensor course, we get whammy's. Man, this stuff's so good now. Wow, this is, if I just showed this to like me two years ago working on Tiny Grad and was like, this is actually gonna like be good one day and have whammies and stuff. Um, you see the metal whammies. This is a metal whammy. Intel has whammies too. They're called DPOS. Uh, we have a, we have a four and hour bounty if someone wants to get DPOS working. Um, all right, we'll do a little chat with, uh, let everybody talk. Maybe some people have good opinions on chips. Chips. Uh, so yeah, chiplets yield, then, um, interconnect. Cheap. NVIDIA is doing Mellanox as burning power. I don't want to do that. Hexagon, fine. Uh, yeah, I like this. God, Qualcomm's actually, Qualcomm makes good chips. How has no one realized that like Qualcomm's the AI company yet? Um, the problem with AMD is the driver. The problem with NVIDIA is the price. <laughs> Imagine they sold, oh. <coughs> Imagine they sold H100s for like five grand. Mm. Well, the problem with AMD turns out to not be the driver. The problem, I mean, you want to root cause the problem with AMD, it's not the driver, right? It's the culture that led to that driver. And the culture is, we do not root cause issues, we mitigate issues. So this is what they do for video games. It was just like, again, I'm going to say that they were genuinely trying to engage with me. They really, like, did try to, like, help to an extent. They're just not very flexible, right? They're, like, like... They want to like shoehorn me into this thing where you're like a customer, right? Like we can send out a field application engineer to diagnose your problem. And I'm like, no, I'm diagnosing your problem. Um, yeah, look, the only way we're going to beat NVIDIA is with better software and better scheduling. And that's where I need to focus, not on this stupid uh, GPU crap. At least NVIDIA is the right place to not focus on stupid GPU crap. More. The South Harmon Institute of Technology? Oh. I've heard of that. Good school. That's how we beat them. Our our edge over Nvidia. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm done. You're right. I'm done with the AMG drama. We're over AMD drama. Um, to make a better chip, you need to make it less flexible. Yeah, Tenstorn chip, I mean, Tenstorn has a really long way to go. 
they, they started with a chip. They didn't start with software. And their chip is very cool. Um, I think, but I think, I think someone described it as a toy, and it is a toy. It's an eight hundred dollar toy. It's a pretty cool toy. Um, and like again, if I was, I think also by selling those, I think that there's a lot of like college kids who are gonna buy those, and these are the kind of kids like I just don't have like time, you know. If I had if I had like tons of time and nothing to do, yeah, I'd love playing with that ten store and thing. I used to play with the dumbest hardware in college, like. Um, and it's like cool. No, like I play with hardware that was like cool. I'm, I'm really, I'm very bullish on Tens Torrent in that sense, but they have a long road to go to be competitive and their, their software is not good. They're, they're trying to like shoehorn into a PyTorch. They have, they, they, their examples are based around PyTorch and this is such a mistake. Um, no, but uh, you, you know what, like, if Tens Torrent continues to execute the way they've been executing, to like build out in the open, to sell cards, like they will win if they can keep it up for 10 years. This is how Nvidia built what they built today. They you know what I was you know what I was playing with in college? CUDA. I remember 2009, no, it was 2008. I'm sitting in my dorm room at RIT and I'm reading the CUDA docs about like waves and like, I'm like, man, like this was, I, a lot of people probably had this experience. Scheduling is NP hard after all, just put it off in the future where AGI exists. Yeah, that's kind of the strategy, right? I mean, you know, lots of things are NP hard and like, it's not really a big deal. Does Tiny Dread work with modules, models larger than GRAM? Well, what do you want to do? You want to move it over the PCIe bus? Um, the PCIe bus is so slow that the disks in the tiny box match it. Uh, read about CUDA and I mean, you know, I was into ARM with the iPhone. One of the things Tens Torrent's doing right is they're understanding that they're like designed for scale. NVIDIA is, NVIDIA has shoehorned scale on top of the biggest chip we could possibly make. Right, they're like, we're going to make an absolutely massive chip. And then like, like, does it scale? Well, yeah. You know why it scales? Because we, we like bought Mellanox and we put Envy Switch. Like, wow. Do, do other, did, did AMD copy Envy Switch yet? Do they have knockoff sharp somewhere in Rickle? They have Rickle? Is it called Rickle? It's actually called Rickle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is not a strategy. This is not a strategy. You do not win like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Wait, does it actually, do they actually take code or do they just take the version? Oh, they might've actually taken code. Uh, uh. We beat them with software. What's neuromorphic? Intel's building it? No, it's probably not good. What, what do you mean by neuromorphic, right? Like, in some ways, tends towards neuromorphic. Like, do you, do you mean, like, biologically plausible? Like, like, like... 
Um, no, we're done with we're done with the beef with AT. Twitter, Twitter encourages bad behavior. You know. All right, guys. Twitter is what we make it. The world is what we make it. Why did Grok back back down from the Twitter bet? Do you think that can, he's not serious? Um, if I hadn't spent this time with AMD, we didn't actually waste that much time on AMD. They also offered to buy back my GPUs. Should we sell the GPUs back to Nvidia, to AMD, or should we dump them on eBay? What do you think, boys? Um, I mean, again, that's what I mean. Like, they're very nice in that sense. Like, they don't want me to have a bad time, but they're not gonna like, will they take my full price again? Like, how much do I really care about four grand? I, mean, I guess I kind of care. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll send it back. Um, what particular scheduling problems? Uh, yeah, so like a lot of the problem, so there's a ton of things you can schedule and they should be invariant, but they're not. So we're working on like fuzzers to make sure they're invariant. Oh, they're not one plus bad. One plus, one plus is so sad. That's like AMD was never good and they're not getting better. OnePlus was good and they've become shit. Um, I, I, Bill Ackman, do you want to have a trillion dollar company? Wait, I, I'll put in, I'll put in every dollar I have. You put me in charge of Qualcomm, I will put every dollar I have into Qualcomm, uh, and we will pump it together. We'll, we'll put a Qualcomm chip in everything. We'll displace the entire embedded market with Qualcomm chips. We're gonna, we're gonna make the best. We're gonna we're gonna make the best developer experience in the world on Qualcomm chips, and then we're gonna sell them at a reasonable price. Oh, wait, Bill Ackman's fucking with Google. That's good. Someone's gotta fuck with Google. All right. Um. Mean to fuzz the top of sorts. Do you, do, or do you want to read like all my old, all my old ML plans? I don't even need to move cities. I'll just, I'll go up to San Diego. I'll take over Qualcomm and I'll fix the company. Um, <laughs> no, they're probably going to fix themselves actually. Uh, he claims they're shit. Well, yeah, imagine a Raspberry Pi with Qualcomm. I know, but the problem is you can't work with them. Tiny grad should acquire AMD. No, no. AMD also. Yeah, fire all the BD people. Qualcomm's fixed. It's it's like Qualcomm could be fixed overnight. Um, is it not solvable, bypassable? It is probably mitigatable. We could probably write some quite good mitigations, but this isn't where I want to spend my time. Um, like I said, I, I think we're going to end up still getting AMD on MLPerf, uh, just if like it happens to run there. No, I don't. I don't want to be an activist investor in AMD. I, I think that, like, uh, you know, you, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Um, we'll see. I mean, I, I hopefully got the message across. 
the balls in their court. Like open source stuff slowly over a year. It still like kind of works. Uh, yeah. Well, like we, we could hack around everything, but it's just fundamentally like you're, you're, you're building a temple on top of a shit, on top of shit. Right? And can you build a temple on top of shit? You can. The people that make AMD bad. I can't point to exactly who makes AMD bad. I don't think Lisa Sue is bad. Um, I think that they have a misguided strategy. But that's different. And I'm very well maybe wrong on that. Right? I, I don't know. Again, I don't really know how they think. I know that their drivers have been shit for 15 years and they're going to be shit for, you know, ever with the current strategy. I know that. Uh, but, like, it's not it's not like I can snap my fingers and fix the driver. Like, why they're shit? I don't know. Who knows? If you, maybe if they open source it, we could find out. Um... Versus, yeah, versus Qualcomm. Get rid of the IP licensing shit. You, sorry, Huawei already patented all of 5G. This is not, stop trying to rent seek and start trying to sell chips. See, I, this is like why I have so much respect for NVIDIA. What did NVIDIA do? They sold chips. You're gonna, you're IP patenting, who the hell cares? Right? This is That's what happens when you focus on selling great chips. That's what happens when you focus on IP and licensing. You know? And that's what happens when you sell like kind of okay chips and have shit drivers. You have decent CPUs. But, um, you know, you have no AI strategy. Your AI strategy is Rickle. <laughs> this isn't gonna work! I don't think she said, I make an edict, let's help George. I think she engaged, again, in a polite way, but not in a serious, like, we are going to make any change to our process. Right? They're, they're, these companies don't function like a, I make an edict. Elon makes an edict. <laughs> really hard on Rickle. Wait. Oh, I would not be. I would love NVIDIA trying to, trying to, wait, for putting 64090s in a box, you think NVIDIA is going to sue me? This is delusional. If I built a huge cloud of 4090s and then started selling inference as a service to people, I'd maybe get a cease and desist. Uh... Like, but probably not even then. Putting six forty nineties in a box and selling them to gaming enthusiasts, Nvidia like loves this shit. Why do you think? Like, like everyone got so scared by that not licensed for data center deployment. Again, you you didn't think who that's targeted at. Wait, yeah, well look what they did for the miners actually. What they did for the miners, uh, they didn't sue any miners. They didn't try to, NVIDIA doesn't use legal stuff. They did the same thing they did with the with the locking of the, the, the 3090s. AWs getting sued all day. Who's AWs? They did a firmware lock, right? They did LHR. Like, you can respect LHR. Oh, AWS getting sued all day. 
Well, yeah. Again, if AW, yes. If AWS deployed 4090s, I mean, it also probably honestly wouldn't make sense for them. When you're at the scale that AWS is at, you don't, you, like, you just get a good deal from NVIDIA probably. I, I, I don't know. It, it's also becoming less relevant. Like, 4090s are still a great deal today, but if they really price B200 at 30K, it's just, it's just the arbitrage is over. If they really price B200s at 30K, Kama's going to buy some. I mean, but you can't just also, like, buying one B200 doesn't really work. You have to have a, uh, you have to buy eight of them. You have to buy the big machine, right? It doesn't, doesn't make any sense to, like, buy the one PCIe card that's, like, super throttled and underpowered. Um, no, there aren't, they don't really make ML products targeting the price range that Tinybox is, uh, is targeting. Um, no, but NVIDIA is not gonna, they're not gonna sue. It's, that's absurd. Uh, like companies that are, that are also companies that have stocks that look like this. Like, do they really think it's any threat at all to this? No way. I'm not gonna sue. Suing me is a bad idea, too. Um, how is Sony stock doing? Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Ooh, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> um... Uh, and that's the kind of company who sues, right? Like a sad company. No. That company puts the firmware lock to buck the miners. <laughs> um. I wish AMD worked out too. I wish they were like excited. They're like, you're really going to get our cards on ML perf? Nintendo sues, yeah. Nintendo, uh, Nintendo. It's, it's like a different kind of culture. It's like uh, it's the Japanese business culture. And, um, diss track plus puts. Can you clone comma AI and do the same idea? No, I patented the idea. I'm gonna come to Egypt and sue you. Yeah, have you seen Kamu? Kamu! <laughs> you buy the Kamu assist. I mean, we love these guys. Um, also, like, we like the, you know, look, yeah, Buka Pilot is built off of Open Pilot, uh, which will be supported by Malaysian ourselves. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of Malaysian guys. If you're, if I was in Malaysia, this is probably a better experience than a Kamu 3X. Um, they added a bunch of cars. They added a bunch of local Malaysian cars. Like, good on that. Wait, you guys never heard of Kamu? <laughs> the website's better than ours. <laughs> you guys know I just love this, though. Like, it's, it's not about... It's not about. No, our website's pretty good. Our, our website's not that bad. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it kind of is better. <laughs> Can we speed the video up? <laughs> oh, nobody even Kyle already supports both sides of the road. The rain is more dramatic, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. The product doesn't look as good. They're not doing it at the same scale as us. 
The 3X is really nice. I want a combo. If I lived in Malaysia, it'd probably be a better buy. Creating value in the world technically is all about asking the government to force someone else to give you money. Dude, we love Kamu, right? Again, like, don't be scummy. And, uh, it's like, look, I mean, Kamu doesn't leapfrog Kama in the same way Rickle doesn't leapfrog Nickel. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I don't think we'll do a, maybe we'll do a stream tomorrow. Should we do, should we do, uh, should we do AMD drivers tomorrow? Do we want to spend more time looking at AMD drivers or are we just done with AMD? One more look into AMD. I don't know. Let's look into Rickle. <laughs> are you going to beat Grok? AMD is entertaining as I get mad easier. Uh, AMD is sad. Today was too chill. Yeah, I'm tired. More scheduling. We need more scheduling. Better scheduling, better scheduling, better scheduling, better scheduling. Don't do politics, do cocaine before you do politics. Yeah, that's actually probably true. They say that, you know, like drugs are bad for you, but wait till you see some people on politics, man. That shit really rots your brain. Can't tiny box get cloned for cheaper? I encourage clone makers. Um, I mean, tiny box is not open source. You can like try to make a clone of it. Everyone says those things are easy, but like actually do it. It's really hard. <laughs> um, I'm good.